Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. For today's video, I'm going to show you what I keep in my Hobonichi small drawer pouch. So this is kind of like a what's in my pen case, but I use this pouch specifically for journaling purposes. So this is the Hobonichi small drawer pouch. I showed this in a previous haul video, so if you want to see that, I can um, link that down below for you. Um, and I will also put a link to where you can purchase this online. So this is the Sugar Rose small drawer pouch from the Hobonichi store. And I love it because it has this beautiful um, cool pink color on the outside. And then inside it has this beautiful light green. So for this particular pouch, you do get quite a lot of different pockets. So you have this one really long one that goes the length of the entire pouch um, at the very back. And then you do have the two smaller ones here. So in the back here, I keep most of my Muji pens. So I actually have a Kiki K uh, mechanical pencil and this is with the 0.7 lead and it's in the rose gold. Um, I really, really love this. It's so elegant and beautiful. Um, the top is where you put the lead in. It doesn't have an eraser. So um, that's the only downside to it, but I absolutely love this pencil. It's so beautiful. I do keep um, quite a few of my favorite gel pens, um, and these are all from Muji. Muji does my favorite gel pens. Um, usually I have 0.5. I have also used the gel cap ones in the point. 3, 8, and those are absolutely amazing. So I do have quite a lot of gel pens um, kept in there because these are my must-haves. Um, I do use colored pen in my um, journals, um, especially in my Hobonichi A6. Um, this right here is a Sakura Jelly Roll and it's the white pen. Um, this is my favorite white um, gel ink pen. It works really great on craft paper or even black paper um, and it even works on like mild liners as well so if you like to do kind of like um, highlights on your hand lettering then that's great for that I do have one ballpoint pen this is um, the 0.7 ballpoint pen from Muji. This is my all-time favorite ballpoint pen, so I just keep that there just in case. I haven't had um, a need to use it yet, but it's just there um, in case I do need it. In the second kind of compartment, I do keep my lettering pens, so these are calligraphy pens. These two I recently hauled um, so you may see that video. I will link it down below also. So these are the Pentel um, brush sign pens and I have the color pale pink and then also pale blue and these are brush tip pens they're really great for beginner um, hand letterers or if you just really like smaller writing so I journal in a Hobonichi A6 and I find that these smaller pens are great for that the Tombow ones can be a little bit big I also have these lettering pens and these are from the brand um, Kuritake and these are the Kikoro lettering pens. So inside here I do have the fine um, black cartridges and that's what it looks like. So you can buy the body separately and then you can also buy the refills separately. So these are the extra fine and that's what the refill looks like and then you just screw on the body like this. So if you are interested in the colors, this is the Sakura, and then this is the strawberry color. And then in here I just have some cute popsicle post-it notes from Michaels a few years back. And then in here I just have a pink glitter ollie clip, it's always helpful. Um, usually I will have some stickers in here, but I don't have any right now. Um, the next thing over here is the kind of main compartment, I guess you can say. It's where you can store quite a lot in this main one. So it is a mesh pocket like this. 
And in here I have most of my fountain pens and other miscellaneous things. So one of my must-haves for journaling is clips like these. Um, I use these to kind of hold my pencil board in place in my Hobonichi. So this is definitely necessary. Um, and then in here I do keep my fountain pens that I have ink right now. So I do have a video on these as well. So I will um, link those down below. So I currently have four um, Lamy Safaris inked right now and they all have different ink in them. Um, these three are from the 2019 um, special edition. So this is the powder pink and I will go through each one of them. So this one is the powder pink and I have this in the fine and I have this inked up with the Lamy Violet right now. I really love the violet ink in this. Um, this one is the mint glaze and I have this in the medium nib and I have Lamy Blue inside this right now. And then in the blue macaron, I have it in the extra fine nib. And this is running low, so this has a bit of the violet ink left in it. So I'm just gonna finish that out before I change it up with another color. And then this one I just inked up last night. So this is the 2020 special edition. I do have the mango, but I don't have it inked up right now. Um, and this color is the aquamarine. So you can see it's a beautiful kind of greenish aqua color. Um, I really like it because it has the really pretty matching pen clip and this one is also a medium nib and inside here I do have the Lamy turquoise ink. So this is the freshest one. I just added this last night. So um, yeah, like I said, once this one runs out, I will refill it. Um, I do have some rollerball pens and these are also in the um, blue macaron shade and the mince glaze and I do use gel ink pens quite a lot so this is just a regular black ink it's a gel ink pen and I have two of those in case I want to use black ink instead of my fountain pens the other thing here that I have is a Muji um, pocket pair of scissors so it just opens up like that super handy it doesn't take up very much space and it, they cut really well um, in the pouch you do kind of have this like seat belt type of um, elastic and you can put your pens in there so they don't move around so much so I find that it's really great to hold my fountain pens. Um, I do have a mini glue stick just in case I want to paste some pictures in. I can do that. Um, the other thing I have is the um, tape runner. So it kind of looks like a whiteout, but it's actually a glue runner. Um, but that's a little bit bulky, so I don't keep it in here. But I sometimes use that to stick down my photos. Um, and in here I do have a couple of the friction stamp pens. So I do have the little sushi one and also the heart with the smiley face. And I just use this just to add a little bit of deco in there um, to add some cuteness to my spreads. So as you can see, everything fits really well in here. I love the way that my fountain pens fit in here perfectly and they don't move around very much so I'm not worried about it um, spilling or anything like that. So that does up really nicely like that. And then at the very back you also do get um, another pocket like this and I just keep a couple of the my liners so these are dual ended highlighters so you have the chisel tip here as well as the more pointed tip over here and I typically use the pointed tip when I'm journaling I will write like the header or anything like that um, when I'm not going to be using my lettering pens 
So that's everything that I have in my journaling pouch. Once again, this is the Hobonichi small drawer pouch and I will leave a link to it um, down below. So this pouch comes in a variety of colors and styles, so you can definitely find one that will fit your style. Um, I'm absolutely in love with this pouch and I think come September I will definitely be picking up another one. I think it'll be great to have one for planning and another one for journaling so I can keep all my tools and um, essentials all together in one place. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you keep in your um, pencil case. What are your, like, your essentials, especially when it comes to journaling? I would love to hear it. Please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!